Welcome to our 12th monthly news update. It's actually been one year since I started doing this. Hi. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, so I'm currently in the Netherlands and it's winter. The weather is kind of hmm, rainy. And that's actually something I want to talk about. Something I learned throughout the years is that when I was younger, I was used to just go on. When I make a project, I just wrap it up and go to the next one and to the next one. And throughout time, I learned that it's good to take breaks in between, to really reflect on the things you've been doing. And I try to align this with the seasons. So in spring, stuff really starts to grow and you really want to start something new. In summer, you have a lot of energy, so you really get the job done. And in autumn, you sort of try to finish up your whole projects, making sure that all the things you've been doing come together. And the winter you use to reflect, so take a good look at all the things you've been doing, but also the things you would like to do next. And this always feels kind of like the lazy part because you just, I don't know, you zoom out a bit, you walk around, you're gonna sit on this wooden thing in the nature. But it's actually quite a tough process because this is when you start asking yourself the tough questions. And I think this part is quite crucial for your own health to make sure you don't get a burnout or anything like that. But also for projects to really zoom out and look at the bigger picture of what you're trying to do. Yeah, so currently in reflection mode. And this is also the time to gather feedback. And I really like this feedback part. We develop a lot of new information and share it, but you never really know if people get it and use it the way you want it. So it's super nice for us seeing people starting to build more shredders in Laos and just ordering all the parts on the bazaar and having the guys running more workshops in Germany or just big bulls made in Ukraine. He also makes very nice patterns. I don't know how he does that, but inspiring for us to see what is happening and what other people do with plastic. Some guys in Indonesia are still on it. And seeing other product applications like this thing to avoid mud on your bike. And it's also nice that we share tutorial videos, for instance, on how to fuse plastic bags together. But seeing that being used again by people in Shanghai to make their own bags or following Jigo's process in the forums where he's building his own extruder machine to set up his own fresh plastic workspace in Estonia. And having Joey, the French guy who helped us out here on version 3, he's now back in France and built his own set, which is nice. He also built a rocket stove so he can cast his own aluminum molds. And having people tweaking their chair, quote, the most comfortable office seat of the world. Wow. And seeing our diamond being used in this illustration, Looks nice. And the guys from Talas in Spain, who are very good in making super nice detailed molds, have been working on sunglasses for a while and doing now some color tests, experimenting how the materials and the colors blend together. So it's really nice for us seeing people posting back the things they do so we can learn from it as well. And we actually have two topics in the forum if you have any ideas, feedback or suggestions. One is about the community itself. And we really like this and this thing is always under development because we think it's a big part for the future of our projects as well. And if you have any suggestions for precious plastic, like what should we do next? What is missing? What could be improved? Maybe we need to make a version 4. So if you have any ideas or feedback, post it here. Link us in the description below. So as we gather all this information from various places around the world, I always like to write it down so I can have a proper, clear look at it and categorize all the different elements. So meanwhile, the feedback is gathered. I also like to do some maintenance and repairing, like cleaning up the workspace and fixing all the machines that I wore out or broke during the time. Fixing the holes in my clothes. This one is still on the to-do list. Uh, or repairing some hardware, like I replaced the battery in my laptop and the MagSafe adapter, which was broken. And it's always such a hassle. I mean, the batteries are completely glued in here. If you're gonna reboot it, you never know it's gonna work, but managed to do it. So hopefully good for another few years. And this is what I also like about having this sort of reflecting period, because I tended to skip these things and just go to the next project. And I think it's crucial to fix, repair and maintain your things. So as I am here in my winter reflecting repairing period, um, others from the Prashik Plastic team are still out there. 
So we have Matthijs who's currently in China and Mattia in South America, Colombia. And they made two nice clips for you. Have a look and I'll see you guys next month. Hi guys, Matthijs here. I'm currently in China at the ISB, the International School of Beijing. And here they want to teach the children more about sustainability and recycling. So they contacted the local machine builder to build the machines. And I'm here to teach the teachers how to use the machines and teach the children about sustainability and recycling. And the builder did a great job, so I will show the machines. This is a brand new design lab. And over here you have the shredder. The shredder is built online because they figured out it was cheaper of buying this one online. They built our shredder. There you have our extruder with a nice steel tabletop so it's not uh, able to burn. And over here we have our oven we are currently using to melt a block of HDPE for a mallet. And here is the injection machine also with a great level of details. For instance this handlebar with some nice rounded edges. Uh, this afternoon I will give the children some classes about sustainability and about recognizing types of plastics during a chemistry class. See you later. Hey Dave, how's it going? I'm uh, now somewhere in the Selva in uh, Colombia. Really nice, awesome little place and I came here to, to meet Romy and uh, Schneider and his team that they are building the shredder here and are trying to set up their plastic recycling workspace in Colombia. There they are. They're now making the injection machine. Hello Schneider. Hey, how are you doing? How's it going? So good. Nice. Hey, and you? Hello. Ooh, welcome Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, aquí hay Romy. Hola. And here we have a shredder almost ready. It's all working. They just need to finish up everything and color and then uh, they are ready to shred. Sweet. Then a uh, message to Dave and the community. <laughs> eh, Dave, un abrazo, gracias por compartir este proyecto, eh, nos has inspirado mucho y pues estamos aquí fabricándolo junto con nuestros compañeros para limpiar el plástico lo más que podamos. Working, 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 working. <laughs> <laughs>